hats up, everyone. I figured I'd give an actual in a show demonstration on some of these airsoft stuff. Tried to set up a little bit of a rig, so I'm kind of down here, but first up is the electric M4. Uh, I tried to set up a target where you can see it, but doing the best I can. So uh, let's see what these things can do. This is, like I said, the M4 in semi-auto. And this is full auto. Hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes it gets jammed. And it did. Alright, so full auto is in a second. If it ever runs jams, I'll show you a full auto down the line. But, um,. As you can see, not, not too bad of a shot if you can actually even see it. Let's see if we can zoom in there. It was a fresh target. And... As you can see, I'm not too bad of a shot. Most of them are pretty much in that uh, inner bullseye. But moving, moving back, moving on to the next one. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Let's see if I can try full auto again. Hopefully I fixed it. Let's give it a whirl. There we go. A little bit of full auto. Kind of a mess, but what can I tell you? <laughs> Alright, not bad, not bad. I'll show you the lovely uh, shots on that. Like I said, I'm trying to do my best with what I got. But, uh, let's see. As you can see, zoom in. Full auto kind of goes everywhere. This was a fresh target, like I said. Full auto kind of went towards the top a little bit as the semi auto grouped right in the middle. Sometimes I'm not a bad shot. <laughs> but moving on, moving on. We're going to move on to uh, the spring, spring pistols and spring uh, guns, stuff like that. Just because I'm going to save the gas powered ones for last. Uh, let's see. Let's use the spring powered shotgun. Put the uh, BBs in the towards the handle. I'm only gonna shoot off three, hopefully. Ooh, right in the middle. Ooh, there we go. And sometimes, like I said, you gotta kind of work it. Gets jammed, which it did. But got one out of the three shots. Yay! Uh, moving on to the spring AK-47. Comes with this lovely clip here. Put all the BBs in here, you shake it, so on and so forth. Put it in. Like so. Pull back the trigger there. And let's see if I got any good shots. Hmm. Not too bad. Uh, that was a little to the right. A little to the left. <laughs> uh, a little up high. Like I said, I'm not too bad of a shot, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And it's out. So, moving on, moving on. Uh, the one big beast I'm not gonna be able to show you because I don't have any grenades for it, is my grenade launcher. Like I said, it's a huge bastard. Open it up like so, you would turn it, and then pump away. But I don't have any grenades yet, so we're not going to do that one. Moving on to some spring-powered pistols, like I said. Uh, let's start off with the regular pistol here. As you can see, it's empty, but Put these little uh, shells in there with the BB in the back, as you see. Put them in there. Gonna load up three. As you can see, the BBs are in there. Close it up. Pull back, and bam! Oh, I seem to have missed. There we go. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. Pretty much right in the middle. Like I said, I'm getting getting pretty good. <laughs> Moving on 
to my let's see let's use this one the uh, UA something with the laser pointer I'm going to do one shot without the laser and bam right on top right there and I'm going to do the other two with the lasers right in the middle and right in the middle not too bad but let's see move it in there Uh, the zoom kind of sucks on this, but what can I just tell you? There you go. Nice little grouping in the middle. Moving back out. Yeah. Continuing on, we're going to move to my 1911 uh, spring. See, here's the uh, clip. Like so. Pull it back. And bam. Right on the side of the middle almost. Almost. Pull it back. A little bit above. And dead smack right in the middle. This one's pretty much my most accurate of the spring ones. Like I said, I'll show you. Three shots, right in the middle. Wow, at least close enough to the middle that I actually bent the uh, thing all the way back on that one. Very cool, very cool. But moving on, moving on. A lot more to do. Alrighty, next up I uh, will use another one that's pretty accurate, which is my. Desert Eagle, the lovely clip, one right in the middle, right in the middle, and a little above the middle, but what can I tell you, still getting there, still getting there. Uh, last but not least for my spring pistols, it's my M9, another one that's pretty accurate. There we go. Right through the middle. They are pretty powerful. I have to give them that. Like I said, I'll show you. Wish the zoom was a little faster, but as you can tell and see, I shut out the whole top part of the middle right there, which is what I had so far. Not too bad. Now I'm going to move on to the gas powered ones. Because they are my last two guns to show you off. See what they do. Got to use uh, this stuff. I said green gas. I'm gonna use my uh, my 1911. Let's see if I can show you. Opens up like that. Like I said, you can put the gas in the bottom, straight up. Two to three seconds, give or take. And I've shown it before, but the clip. It's a little odd. It looks like a little staple thing. I'm going to shoot off a few rounds on this one because the gas ones like to use up the gas. So. Take the safety off and this one's another one that's kind of accurate. And I'm out. But, again, Zoom in there for you. Took out the whole whole target right there. So I'm pretty much almost out of a bullseye. But uh leaves with my last powered of gas, and that is my my Glock, which I'll show you. Um, the accuracy on the Glock is, isn't all that great, so I'm gonna do my best there. Wait one moment. And like I said. Here's the clip, it's gas powered. Straight up for a couple seconds. Here's the, the clock, safety is off. Let's see what we got. Not too bad, not too bad. Gotta really work on this uh, zooming. But as you can see, like I said, I'm not too bad of a shot. Got it all in the middle, took out the whole target. Not too bad. That's pretty much all my uh, my lovely airsoft guns. 
Uh, hope you like this little uh, demonstration of what they can do, and uh, see you later.